Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Anne, and today is still March 21st, 2019. And now I want to share with you a very sobering vision that I had on March 18th. And I received a confirmation last night, March 21st. The vision on March 18th was very simple but very sobering. It simply said, are you willing to die for me? Now that question was bittersweet, but it was not something that surprised me. It was sweet because it let me know that we have reached the end of time and that I know that that means that the two witnesses are getting ready to come on the scene. It was bitter because I know that once the two witnesses finish their testimony, I know what happens to them in the end. Now, many of you know me, and you know that in 2015, I made an announcement, and I told everyone that Yahushua had told me that I was one of the two witnesses of Revelation 11. He told me, that and I believed him but now with all this revelation that he has given me I have absolutely no doubt in my mind what he's saying is true now that initial revelation that he gave me was in July of 2015 well now it's March 2019 and I even say that hey as of now nothing has happened to prove that I am one of the two witnesses. But I definitely know that this is something that he told me. And I've not forgotten about it. It's always been in the back of my mind, even though I haven't been given anything else. Plus, you know, he told me I had no reason to doubt him. Well, on March 18th, as I said, I received a wake-up call, I think. And I take it very seriously. Now, you may ask me exactly when do I think the two witnesses ministry will start? Well, I do not know. I don't have that kind of information. I'm kind of going on what I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to share with you basically what I receive and why I think that this is what this means. It's kind of like a hunch, I guess you could say. All I can say is that in my spirit, I felt that that's what that question meant. And when I heard the question, it took me back until and back to 2015. And with the understanding that I've gained, I've always kind of felt that the witnesses ministry, I guess you would say, would start during the Passover season. Well, brothers and sisters, we are entering into the Passover season. And so I'm not saying that it's going to happen this Passover, but I'm saying it just may, it just may. Because remember now, we have been told, and I believe, that there's going to be three days of darkness. And when these three days of darkness come, you know, a transformation could happen. And remember in Egypt, right before they were released to go out of Egypt, there was three days of darkness. So, you know, these are the kinds of things that kind of make me feel like um, we may be nearing that. So exactly what am I saying? I'm saying that I have reasons or hunches in my spirit to believe that the ministry of the two witnesses is about to start and that it could start as early as Passover this year. No, I don't know for sure, but I do know a couple of things that I'll share with you. Sometime back, the Most High told me, he said, when they see you, they will think that you are one of the fallen angels. 
And I knew in my spirit, he was saying that there will be a certain glory over me at some point in time when people look at me, they will know or they will think that I am an angel or a fallen angel. Now, this is not only just for me because I've heard other brothers and sisters say the same thing. So that kind of leads me back to why I believe that three days of darkness is coming up, maybe the time when that trans transformation uh, takes place. So, you know, that was the vision that I had on the 18th. And as I said, it was very simple and very straightforward. Are you willing to die for me? And my response was, yes, Lord, whatever your will is, I am willing to do it. So now what I want to do is I want to tell you about the second vision that I had just last night that I believe confirms this vision. I mean, the vision on the 18th. So I want to tell you about that. So, uh, and that's, uh, as I said, that is what I, what I had just last night. Now, I'm going to read this vision just the way I wrote it down so that I'll make sure that I get it right. I said, I woke up at 6.15 a.m. And the first thing that I saw on my ceiling was, I love you. Then he showed me, meaning Yahushua showed me, his big beating heart. And I could see it on the ceiling, a big red beating heart it was not red red but it was like you know dark red beating heart and then he told me you are my heart then he showed me a vision i saw a portal open up and i saw what looked like him showing me that his heart had come into this world and became flesh and that was me. Then he showed me that I would have to die for him in this world. Now, I said a few nights ago, he showed me a vision where he asked me if I was willing to die for him. And I said, yes, Lord, I am. Anything that you would want me to do, I am willing to do. Then the vision moved on. I saw someone being killed, and I assumed that person was me. Then the vision moved on, and I saw another portal open up. And then I saw, as if I was looking up in heaven, I saw Yahushua and me together. And we were a couple and we both were in our glorified bodies. We were not in spiritual bodies. Then the vision end. And then I said, this also takes me back to when he told me that I was one of the two witnesses. And again, he told me that in 2015. And I have now been told that the bride is one of the two witnesses. So brothers and sisters, I am not saying anything definite is, definite is going to happen. I just wanted to share my vision with you so that you can be alert because you know when the two witnesses come on the scene, that means that many other biblical things will start to happen. So I want you to be alert. And again, I'm not saying this is something definite or I can't put my finger on the next thing that can happen. But in my spirit and based on these two visions, I believe that this is now the time for the two witnesses to come on the scene. We all need to be alert. We all need to be awake. So this is my call to you to be awake and alert. And shalom until next time.